Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 05 May. Uh, non farms today, so not much to do this morning. Yesterday, uh, we did not get what we wanted. Stopped out of the Euros, stopped out of the Euro Swiss. Um, they only raised 25. I thought they were going to raise 50. She kind of walked it back with some hawkish talk, but whatever. That's life. That's life in the business. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. We still have our eyes on this 111 level. Um, it's just, you know, this could really just open up. If you, if you look at the weeklies, you can, you can see what we're thinking here. This really just opens up. I mean, you got to get through 111.40, but really just opens up to 115 and even up to, you know, 116, 118. Um, so it's a very interesting level, similar to the cable level, 126, um, which is just broken overnight. A lot of clear air above these levels um, for the dollar. And if you look at the dollar index, it's basically this, right? Down through 100. 1.0075, and you got some clear air. I mean, this chart's less compelling, but the euro chart is uh, looks very good um, through through 111. Speaking of cable, you can be long cable here. Um, you know, this went at one of those awkward 5 a.m. breaks. Uh, it's hanging around up here. Hasn't been back below the figure. Might visit somewhere between 95 and 85 just to clear out some of the um, super tight risk managed breaks um, that are inevitably out there uh, is this going to survive seven and a half hours before non-farms and then survive the volatility of non-farms with a tight stop um, I don't think so um, but maybe who knows but the point is is there's tons of tons of clear air up here this can easily just just go straight up to, to 130 now. No trouble at all. The 200 weekly line, which nobody cares about, I certainly don't care about, is is 128.57. Just a lot of clear air, I guess. The next next resistance is 126.70. Um, but if Euro goes, uh, if Cable goes, if DXY starts trading down below 1.0075 it's kind of on the dollar weakening trade is on and might get some legs here so long euro uh, through 111 we're not long now we will wait um, we had we did own cable uh, from yesterday we've actually sold it we're gonna try and rebuy it which is always sometimes the kiss of death um, we want to get if we want to enter into non farms with a dollar position we want to have as best an average as possible um, you know there were two decisions there you just sit with this at break even um, or you try for a better average so we're trying for a better average we'll see um, if this thing is 126.50 I'll be sad uh, but uh, see see what happens Kind of paying for the uh, euro dollar and euro swiss trades from yesterday as well look not a lot to say um very very key levels going into this thing if this thing comes in hot you know you might want to probably just buy some dollar yen um look at that weekly pennant um where can you buy dollar yen? I don't even know. I don't even know. Maybe dollar Swiss. Where can you buy dollar Swiss? Don't even know. I don't know. If it comes in hot, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, maybe sell some Aussie. Aussie must have had news last night. RBA monetary policy statement must have been hawkish. Um, yeah, if it comes in hot, we'll probably sell some Aussie. Um, 
and look for a little bit of a risk off uh, sort of change of pace. Anyway, seven and a half hours. We'll get a lot of time to think about this. We're going to get some fitness, uh, stay rested, and be ready for basically a two hour work day on non farm payrolls, 2 30 to 4 30. Um, such, is, such is the life in our 30th year. Have a good weekend, everybody. Talk to you Monday. Ciao.